Okay, let's find the equation of the inverse of this logarithmic function. The first thing we need to do is we need to interchange x and y. The next thing we need to do is we need to solve for y. In order to do this when we have a logarithmic function is we need to isolate the log portion. So we need to start bringing stuff over to the other side, beginning with this 5 here. So let's add 5 to both sides. So we get x plus 5 equals 3 log base 2 of 1 plus 2y. So the next thing we need to do is we need to divide both sides by 3 to get rid of this 3 out front here. So we have x plus 5 divided by 3 is equal to log base 2 of 1 plus 2y. Okay, the next thing we need to do is, is to get this 1 plus 2y out of the logarithm. The way we do that is we rewrite the logarithmic expression in exponential form. So let's remember the key, the key property that allows us to do that. Log base 2 of c is equal to d. The logarithmic form is equivalent to, or in other words, the exponential form of this logarithm is this number 2 to this d on the other side of the equal sign is equal to c. Okay, so the base raised to this guy equals this guy. So using that property, important property of logarithms, we can rewrite this guy here in exponential form. So 2, the base, 2 raised to this guy is equal to 1 plus 2y. Okay, so now we've gotten the 1 plus 2y. We've gotten the variable that we want to solve for out of the logarithm. The next thing we need to do is just isolate it. So we subtract 1 from both sides. So we get 2 to the x plus 5 over 3 minus 1 equals 2y. And now we just divide both sides by 2. So the equation of the inverse is 2 to the x plus 5 over 3 minus 1 divided by 2 equals y.